Message from the Book of Truth, Thursday, December the 16th, 2010, at 1.10 p.m. Write this, my daughter. Death dealt out to innocent victims is one of the greatest sins which man can inflict on his brother. It is the most grievous sin of the flesh and causes me deep pain. The lack of regard that mankind today has for human life is becoming increasingly evident in the world. Life is a precious gift from God. No man has the right to take the life of another. No man has the right to take the life of a child still to take his first breath at the time of birth. This crime is heinous and unforgivable. All souls come from my eternal father and are created at the moment of conception. Little children, innocent souls are being murdered by the very people sent to nurture them, their own mothers, who are responsible for their being denied the right to be born. Why do my children stand back and do nothing? In the name of freedom, these little angels from my father's kingdom are being taken off this earth before the time assigned to them as children of God has taken place. Do these women not understand that the lives they place so little value on are those of God? These children are suffering. They endure agonizing pain during their murder and it is justified by governments, the medical profession and these women's families. Have they no remorse in their souls? Do they not realize that their heinous act is no different to that act when man murders man? In fact, it is an even greater sin as these children are helpless. These women must ask for mercy if they are guilty or ask for guidance from me if they are considering an abortion. Either way, they will be judged by their sin. Sins of the flesh are the most offensive in my father's eyes. No amount of justification for murdering another fellow being is acceptable by me or my eternal father. Wake up now, my children, and understand that the taking of life will lead the perpetrators into the eternal fires of hell. There will be no return from this abyss full of demons. Those same demons who, through the work of the deceiver, Satan, convinces the murderer that what he or she is doing is right. He will cunningly convince mothers, for example, that they are making the right decision. Using every trick associated with human reasoning, he will make the person justify the act, even though it is wrong. He will use the lie that the murderers have rights of their own, that they must look after their own interests first. In the name of human rights, the lie is manifested so that the rights of a mother and her freedom to live life as she chooses is to be admired. The lie then convinces her that it is right and correct to murder her child. Please understand that the escalation of genocide in the world has been foretold. It is one of the many signs spoken of in relation to the end times. Stop all of you now. Listen. Murder is a very serious offence. Do it and you will not be saved. There is no going back. Repent, those of you who have committed this terrible sin. Ask for forgiveness now. I, through my mercy, will hear your prayer. You can and will be saved if you are truly sorry for your grievous sin. I will listen. I will forgive, but time is not on your side. Believers, pray hard for these lost and wandering children of mine who have been misled by the deceiver and his minions in positions of power. They need your prayers now. You must, all of you, defend the right to human life which cannot be tempered with by human hands in any circumstances. Pray to me every day. Offer any sufferings you may have for the innocent victims.
your beloved Savior, Jesus Christ.